visions your shot at dot ngm.com islands assignment to your shot editors visited the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park for the natural bio blitz. They asked the members to share photos of the islands. Editors note, I wanted the photos that went past the island cliches, the grandness and scale of this banyan in contrast to the lone woman gave me not only a view of wildness but also a sense of peace. Locher Potter, Kailua, Kona, Hawaii. When Potter and her friend were driving on the north side of the big island of Hawaii, they passed a large banyan tree with splayed roots. I shouted that we had to stop, says Potter. She asked her friend, who is a five feet nine, to climb the roots. Then Potter aimed her camera up. The power of parks. A year-long exploration. This land is your land. A national park is more than just a scenic place. It's a nation's common ground. Standing tall on the aptly named Grandeur Point, a cowboy surveys the Grand Canyon around 1935. President Theodore Roosevelt called the steep-sided gorge in Arizona a natural wonder which is in kind absolutely unparalleled throughout the rest of the world. Visitor to Yellowstone National Park feed a black bear in a circa 1939 photo saw a draw to tourists. The practice was unhealthy for bears and unsafe for people. In 1970, new policies Situated bears to national foods are greatly reduced to human bear conflicts. Looks cold but is warm and fine with the caption that we accompanied this circa 1920 photo of Bathurst in Mount Rainier National Park. In 18 1899, when the 370 square mile site in Washington state was designated. Only four other national parks had been established. A hundred years ago, by David Quammen, photographed by Stephen Wilkes. In the early months of 1916, America stood possessed of a magnificent, visionary, slightly confused, and in short idea, national parks. These would be parks for the American citizenry, citizenry, not pleasure grounds or private hunting reserves for <clears throat> Nawabs and kings. Parks to be shared, even with visitors from around the world. At that point, 14 national parks already existed in the United States, the oldest being Yellowstone, which had been set aside by federal law back in 1872 as the first national park anywhere in the world. The other U.S. parks, representing a diverse sample of majestic landscape, all west of the Mississippi included Yosemite in California, originally a state park nationalized in 1890. Wind Cave in South Dakota, 1933. 1903. Glacier in Montana, 1910. And Rocky Mountain in Colorado, 1915. There were also 21 national monuments, a form of a protection more easily achieved because it could come by presidential decree under the Antiquities Act, passed in 1906, as robustly exploited by Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt during his last three years as a president. That early list of national monuments included Devil's Tower, Chaco Canyon, Moore Woods, and the Grand Canyon. 
what the country did not have in 1916 but now realized it needed it needed was a coherent definish, definition of what a national park or should be supported by a single agency empowered to manage defend and oversee the expansion of its scattered patchwork of parks and park-like monuments in august of the that year a time when european civilizations were gruesomely entangled at the first battle of the Somme. Congress passed an act and President Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson signed it, creating a National Park Service within the, the Interior Department. Stephen Mather, a Californian who have gotten rich selling borax but who cared deeply about conservation, became the first MPS director. He also assistant and sidekick was an impecunious young lawyer named Horace Albright, son of a mining engineer who would serve as a superintendent of Yellowstone beginning in 1919 and eventually succeed Mather, Mather as an MPS director. These two crucial men and their many allies master the support for the system and for adding new units. But the project of defining a national parks essence didn't end with their work. The early parks in the American West End been established primarily to protect scenic wonders, splendors of soaring rock and tumbling water and perennial ice, severe places that offered little prospect for economic exploitation. Except maybe in the form of tourism as a envisaged by railroad tycoons that perceived the dearth of a business opportunity, plus the patriotic savor of a toting. America's natural cathedrals in counterpoint to the cathedrals and monuments of old Europe made creating parks easier than it would be later. Another factor was the ne neg negative example of Niagara Falls, where the best overlooks and been bought up and fenced by private operator turning a national icon into a cheesy, for-profit peep show. Heaven, for, heaven forbid that should happen to all the faithful or the Yosemite Valley. Protection of living creatures, the American bison in Yellowstone, the gigantic Sierra Redwoods, later known as a sequoias, become part of a the idea too, but it wasn't until 1947 that any U.S. national park was uh, approved largely for the protection of wildlife. That was a Everglades uh, national park, a vast wetland in Florida lacking mountains or canyons but full of birds and alligators. 